Hello again, I am Blunty, and I'm betting chances are good you know what Chrome OS is, or at least what a Chromebook is. Well, today I'm going to DIY one of my very own, recycling an aging Windows laptop and hoping for the best because what we're using to make our own Chromebook is still a little bit wibbly. It's still in active development and not truly ready for the general public just yet, so fingers crossed. I've heard a couple of nightmare install stories about it so far, so let's see how we get on. So, for context, Chromebooks are usually light and comparatively inexpensive laptops that run Google's own in-house operating system that was born out of an open source development project called Chromium OS. Chrome OS is browser-based, which is why they named it after their web browser, and hinges on internet connectivity and cloud storage and all that kind of stuff. And while not a true replacement for a proper full-on laptop running a more heavy and genuinely complete operating system like Windows or Mac OS, or Linux, yes, I see you penguin bros out there, for many tasks, so long as you don't need much processing power, flexibility, or local storage, Chromebooks are quite good. So for some kinds of workplaces and for a lot of schools, they've proven to be pretty practical. Now, I have personally never bothered buying one as I need a full fat laptop for my various workflows, but I've always been curious about them. Curiosity, however, cannot justify the cost and I've never been offered a review sample or whatever. So I've never actually been hands-on with a proper Chromebook or even Chrome OS itself. But Google are working on a version of Chrome OS called Chrome OS Flex, while until now, Chrome OS was only available pre-installed on dedicated designed for purpose Chromebook hardware from specific and licensed manufacturers. Chrome OS Flex is different. They're working on it to put it on whatever. Well, when I say Google are working on Chrome OS Flex, what I actually mean is it's kind of the same as how they worked on Android for smartphones, which is to say they purchased it from somebody else in 2005 and, uh, you know, rebranded it. Chrome OS Flex 2 is a Google rebranding of something they just purchased from somebody else, which someone else actually made. It was called Cloud Ready. And like Chrome OS on Chromebooks, Cloud Ready was also built out of the Chromium OS open source project. It's all pretty closely related anyway. It made sense for Google to buy them out, I guess. And when Chrome OS Flex is ready for the public, any current Cloud Ready install people are already using out there will automatically upgrade itself and rebrand itself to Chrome OS Flex as well, whether you like that or not. Chrome OS Flex is designed for user install on their own hardware, intended to help refresh older hardware that might be getting a bit slow under the bloat of Windows, or maybe give a retired machine a second chance at life, a more, uh, yeah, a second useful life. And this angle lets Google kind of sell it as earth-friendly, super green, a way to reduce e-waste so you don't throw out your own laptops, you install Chrome OS Flex on them instead, while simultaneously giving Google a bigger foothold of control over people's computing use. But considering the competition is the likes of Microsoft, I mean, pff, six of one, half dozen of the other, slime-dripping corporate overlords, right? Right. Anyway, in my case, a mix of curiosity and having an aging laptop whose Windows install is starting to wobble a bit, uh, it makes now a fun time to finally see what Chrome OS is capable of, because I can put it on my own hardware and not have to go out and get a Chromebook. So, the machine in question. It's a Razer Blade Stealth. It launched in 2016, and it was Razer's first non-gaming focused device, which made it quite interesting. Things all slim and stuff, it's like a MacBook. Quite nice 12 inch 1440p touchscreen, a 6th gen Intel i7 6500U CPU, 8 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabyte SSD, wireless AC, a Thunderbolt port, USB 3.0, and a handy dandy HDMI out. I reviewed it back at launch and quite liked it, and obviously I kept it around. I've traveled with it a few times and used it to edit videos when it's lightweight and ultra mobility made it a a nicer choice than the larger, heavier 15-inch MacBook Pro that I was using around the same time as my main content production rig. Sometimes it's nicer to travel with this. But as you can see, it's still in very good condition, mainly owing to it spending most of its active use as a bedside companion. It's lightweight and touchscreen make it quite nice to idly browse the web while it's sitting on my lap. And, you know, you don't have to use the mouse. You can just flick on the screen and stuff like that. And you just lay there, just browse the web, watch TV. It's been really nice for that. But it's also getting a bit mm, finicky. Every few boots into Windows also, there's some issue with just black screens going, nope, and you reboot it, and it's running fine. I suspect I know what the problem is, but frankly, the system doesn't see a lot of use these days, so I've not bothered problem solving yet. I've got other things that can be better spent my time doing, like playing video games. 
So this will be our test bed for Chrome OS Flex, but I do want to also keep the Windows install intact. So instead of overwriting its SSD with Chrome OS Flex, we'll be swapping in a new SSD. Well, not new, but just one I have lying in my parts bin from older projects and reviews, but you know what I mean. Razer's design makes this easy enough, although there is a delicate ribbon cable I have to remove to get the get out the drive slot. And I'm always paranoid about these ribbon cables. They can be quite fragile and they're hardly an off-the-shelf part. So if I'm brutish or clumsy with it, I can effectively brick this machine, but I got away with it. So in with the new SSD and on we go with the Chrome OS install. I set up the installer on a thumb drive through the Chrome OS Flex website, which installs a simple Chrome browser extension to get that job done. And yes, this means you can't make an install drive using Safari or Explorer or Firefox or Opera or whatever, but you're installing something called Chrome OS. So I'm assuming you're probably okay with the Chrome browser anyway. It was painless enough, clean, simple interface, quick, couple of clicks, only took a few minutes to download and install itself and get itself ready and bam. The install process itself was very simple also, only a few confirmation screens and while a screen popped up telling me it'll take about 20 minutes to install, mine was in fact done in less than four minutes, so. Logging in with a Google account, of course, drops you very quickly to the desktop and because it's Chrome OS, everything you do happens in the Chrome browser window, even though it's sometimes disguised as a regular window. And even though the different apps have different icons and stuff, at launch, you know, they, they, they just pop up separately in their own little Chrome browser windows. It's not much more than web bookmarks, really, to Google standard websites and web apps. So browsing the regular web or, or using Google Docs or spreadsheets or calendar or Gmail and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Much to my surprise though, Chrome OS Flex recognized my touchscreen natively and worked instantly, just scrolling and pinching and tapping. Everything worked perfectly, just like you'd expect or hoped it would. Considering my laptop's brand, much less this model wasn't even listed on the compatibility list, that was quite a nice surprise. I was expecting a lot more trouble on the hardware side. Unfortunately, I did get more trouble. It did not recognize my laptop's built-in microphone or built-in webcam, so that was a bit of a bummer, vastly reducing the functionality. It also won't wake from sleep properly when I close the lid and open it back up. It just black screens and locks up and needs a cold boot to recover. Just doot on the little button. Also, I'd rather hopefully assumed, dumb, because Chrome OS on Chromebooks can run native Android apps downloaded directly through the same official native Google Play Store as Android phones use. And I have a project in the main near future where that would be very, very useful to run on laptop. I discovered that Google OS Flex does not share this functionality with regular Google OS. Just no, no, no Android stuff, no Play Store, nothing. And that's annoying too. There's no word on if the functionality will ever come, but considering how Google polices the Play Store on Android, I kind of doubt it at this point. They're kind of dicky about it. I don't know why. And if I want to use my full 1440p resolution on that screen, it utterly fails to properly scale the UI elements and text. So while I can pitch to Zoom to read stuff, it's not a solution for working properly. So I have to drop down to a petty 800p just so I can read the shit properly. It did correctly recognize the HDMI out port and even sort of automatically set it up as a secondary screen at the full resolution, in this case 4K, but I mirrored the screen in order to get the, the screen caps and stuff I needed for this video and that worked flawlessly as well. Simple, easy, toggle, boom, straight up, easy peasy. And of course, without any Android compatibility at all, you're, you know, if, if, if you want to play some games to while away the time, um, you're, you're very limited to browser-based games, which are even worse than mobile-based games, so no there as well but all in all i've decided that i won't be sticking with chrome os it was a very quick decision to make it's way too limited especially without the android app compatibility i had plans for and was kind of counting on i'll be wiping this drive again and maybe it's time to give another linux desktop distro a go might be something interesting out there that i haven't come across yet or i could try and fix the windows install and just keep plugging on as it gets ever slower and slower, as Windows machines inevitably just bloat up and slow down over time because Windows is crap. And yes, OS nerds, I do remember there's a Android x86 based product or two floating about out there. It's been ages since I've even looked into them and no idea what their status is these days. So I'll be doing a little bit of research there too. That might be handy. But today I learned Chrome OS isn't for me. I need f more than it offers. Just, just, it's just a lot, a lot more, far more. It's really cool they're working on a version that can revive old or retired hardware though, I think. So it was worth taking a look at. And now that I have, I can sort of, you know, I've got an idea about what it is and what it isn't. So if people ever ask me about it, I'll have a little bit more insight than I used to have. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for watching. I am Blunty. I'll catch you next time. Uh, have you used a native Chromebook? Have you used one of the ones that can do Android apps? Does it work well? Is it really? It does it? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, and if any anyone from a brand who does sell Chromebooks, um, I'm happy to review one or two of them for you. It's worth asking. What are they going to do? Worst, worst case scenario, they say no. Fuck off. Shouldn't have swore. Hurt my chances. Thanks to the patrons.